What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Anthony. Thanks so much for clicking on the video. And right now, I'm in the middle of catching up on Moon Knight. It's been a while since I uploaded, and I've done some things. Still got some videos coming out. Like I did watch uh, Fantastic Beasts: uh, Secrets of Dormador. I'm gonna give a, my thoughts video on that. We got, I believe, the Northmen that's coming out uh, this week. I'm gonna check that out, do a review on that as well. And on this video, we're gonna be watching uh, season one, episode three of Moon Knight, called the Friendly Type. Now, when we left off on episode two. Uh, you know, a lot was revealed about Kanchu, about, you know, the personality dynamics. And uh, Mark had went, went off to Egypt. So we're about to kind of see where the story goes from here. Um, it's, I honestly don't even know where this is going to go. I don't know if we're going to have a big battle go down in Egypt and some big a revelation is about to happen. Because it, it looks like, you know, maybe the, the fucking gates of, of Met are about to be opened up. I don't know, but it's about to go down in episode three. Man, I've been looking forward to watching this. I am so freaking hyped, man. And then right after this, I'm going to jump right into episode four, too, because episode four is already out. I'm a little bit behind, but hey, we, we catching up. We getting there. And, uh, you know, the, the Moon Knight hype is real. I've been hearing some some crazy things. I avoided all spoilers, but uh, from the most part, it seems like people are you know, feeling real good about Moon Knight. So I'm hyped. So with that, let's get into episode three of Moon Knight called The Friendly Type. It's Cairo. So is this who they're working for? All right, so she's got her, her fake passport, so she's ready to get to Egypt, and uh, some shit is about to go down. Here we go. It's kind of a banger right here. I don't know why whenever I see dick sights, my mind goes straight to the exorcist because I'm a big fan of the exorcist. <laughs> we found Ahmed. The visual effects in that scarab is dope. Like I love the way that looks. Oh wow. Oh. What are we dancing? We fighting? Are we Come on, let's go. I hope, I hope this is a dope fight scene. Let's go. <laughs> what was the point of that mid fight oh shit so now the roles are reversed and he's the one that's blacking out like I see him was blacking out in the first episode that is dope wait what oh god Steven what did you do I swear that wasn't me then who was it is there a third personality bro Listen, if you've got a problem with the body count, I suggest you stop listening to that stupid pigeon. Stay out of my way. He called him a stupid pigeon. <laughs> I have a bad one. Kanji is way more prominent as a character than I thought he would be, which is dope. Sending the gods a signal they can't ignore. Ooh, interesting. I wonder how this whole gods thing is going to connect to the wider MCU. That's one thing I've really been wondering, especially when I kind of heard some non spoilery talk about these Moon Knight episodes. Oh, my days, we're inside. We're inside the Great Pyramid of Giza. Steven gigging out. <laughs> we decided long ago we did not wish to meddle in the affairs of man. We mm -hmm. That's typically how it goes. Let us summon the accused. Whoa! Vision is obscured by jealousy, paranoia, and he's a deceiver. Damn, he flipping a script on him. This matter is concluded. I'm surprised they just so easily didn't look into it. Like you'd think they'd have a, at least some sort of sight into seeing what's going on on Earth in some manner. But it's crazy that they like don't realize that. He's actively looking for Amit's tomb. It's weird to me. Find Senfu sarcophagus and you'll find your tomb. Okay, how am I supposed to do that? At least someone's looking out for him. It's kind of funny that it's the actual avatar of the god that used to be friends with Kanchu. That's kind of dope. And it kind of, you know, obviously it lines up story character-wise, but I'm sure we'll see more of that that character. Cairo, I understand. 
Wait, is, is that your apology? It's kind of a clean jacket that she got on, whatever, whatever that fashion is. That's, that's fire. I don't know if that's Egyptian or whatnot, but that's dope. Okay, um, will, you, will you give me a minute? I just have, I gotta talk to Stephen. Just hey, Stephen, useful, bro. He knows a lot. They actually need his help. Yeah, he's. <laughs> what are you doing? Mark! Don't! Yo, Mark, he a bad dude, boy. Doesn't belong to anyone. Do it. Summon the suit. You can't. He gonna have to summon the suit. Buy me some time. Back into this. Damn! Stop it! Ah, oh, come on, Steven, you're messing him up. Take the body. Take the body. Take the body. Yo, he can eat blows like that, bro. Oh, he's super powered for real. That's a, I like that sequence. That's a dope sequence. And like that's what we've been well, that's what we've been itching for so far. Like a really good, dope, long choreographed fight sequence showing off um Moon Knight's power. Cheers, thanks a lot. Alright. Yeah, just like that, he switches. That's awesome. <laughs> she likes Steven. <laughs> Oh, that's fire as fuck. Surprisingly painful. It's working. Yo, this is so cool, bro. Mark. Come on. Come on. Where are you? Mark. Yo, this shit just got crazy. What's, what's gonna happen now, man? Can he hear us? We think so, yeah. You know, how do they just, like, pull him in like that? That doesn't make any sense. We don't get it. We don't interfere with uh, humans. And they just, like, he don't even, he's not even attached to no, he's not even attached to no, he's not no avatar right now. They just bring him in. Like, hey, man, you're right. What? Your torment forged me. I owe my victory to you. Dang. Okay. So we're going to go into episode four. We're going to go on episode four with Mark slash Steven slash whoever else not being an avatar, not having no powers. Uh, how we, like, how is that going to play out, man? Because now they get shot. That's it. They get stabbed and that's it. The stakes are like super real now. And then how are they going to find that location to be able to get them back, you know, Contru said, oh, tell Mark to get me out. So, obviously, this is... Mark has gotten him out before. That's how he originally became the Avatar from maybe freeing him or something like that. But, interesting. All right. So, that was... Let me take my headphones off. That was Moon Knight Season 1, Episode 3. Another great episode, man. Uh, the story just keeps unfolding. Um, again, great special effects. Great performances. I like the, how we're learning a little bit more about people's past. Obviously, you know, Mark did something in the past that uh, that involves her father. I don't maybe he killed him or accidentally or something went wrong on a job. Something obviously happened between her dad and, and Mark. And I guess we're going to see how that how that unravels. And then I'm sure that will create some conflict between them. And they'll have to uh, we we'll to see how that gets resolved between them um, because they'll, they'll be, um, you know, Harris going to try to you know, pit them against each other, I'm sure. Um, but, and, you know, we ended that episode with, uh, uh, freaking, I'm blanking right now, freaking Mark and Steven and maybe a possible third personality, uh, you know, losing the, the avatar state for Contra because now Contra's locked up. So now they're just going to be, you know, regular ass people. And how's that going to affect them on their journey? 
Now the stakes are real. They get shot. They die. It's not like Moon Knight where he can get, apparently can get stabbed through the chest, the stomach, everything multiple times and not give a fuck. Um, that was, that's one thing that was great about this episode was seeing uh, all that power. Like this dude is super powered for real. I mean, I mean, I grant, you know, obviously he's a freaking avatar, but God. So I guess it makes sense that he have these God like abilities where he can sustain like severe injury and it just doesn't really do anything. Um, and I'm curious to see how that's going to play out into the larger MCU story. You know, we think about like Eternals and Celestials and things like that. You know, Celestials seem to be like the gods of the MCU, be, you know, looking at the Eternals. But how are how do these gods compare to like Celestials? Uh, I would assume that, you know, Celestials are going to be the ultimate power. But, you know, how do these gods play uh, play uh, play into that? Uh, and, you know, especially with like the Thor movie coming up too, where we see Zeus and things like that. You know, how does all this like tie in uh, to the Eternals uh, uh, and Celestials and stuff? That'll be interesting to see how that story unfolds. Um, but this is another great episode, man. Uh, literally the same stuff that I could say that the positives from the previous episodes can be brought here, man. Uh, everything is is grade A and, and it's awesome, man. I'm, it's got me super interested and super curious to see where the story is going. And that's the thing with shows, right? From episode to episode, you want these shows to keep you hooked, keep you wanting to come back, and keep you talking about them. And, and Disney is killing it with this, um, with Moon Knight, man. It's, this is a great show, great character. And uh, we even learn a little bit about Kanchu, maybe having some friendship with um, with uh, that other guy, the, the lady that, that, that uh, Mark was talking to. I forgot the, that god's name, but this, there's some sort of friendship there. And then Kanchu's talking about he remembers, he remembers every night. Um, almost like it, like it was it was torturous for him. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh man, I remember every night. I especially remember that night. Um, you know when they you know locked up a mitt, which seems like that was a big event back then. You know something went down, and it obviously was not a very positive thing amongst all the gods. So it'd be interesting interesting to learn more about that uh, that aspect of the story as well. But either way, man, I love these characters. I'm super interested to learn more about them to see where things go. That's the third episode so when i got three episodes left uh so shit man i'm ready to go in episode four but uh uh what did y'all think about episode three um uh and you know by the time i post this episode four it already be out but you know was episode three like a banger like did it really set things up you know for the rest of the season what did y'all think about it uh and just let me know down in the comments your overall thoughts of moon Knight. what are you thinking about the show so far uh, I'm going to go ahead and jump into episode four. But if you made it in this video, thanks so much for watching the whole entire thing. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get notified when I drop new videos. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.